The good news is, is it's over. We did it. Hey guys, Lexi here, and of course I'm with my main man Hunter, and we have just finished a 21 day cleanse. I don't want to say cleanse, more like a reset. It was a cleanse. Hunter struggled through the whole thing. <laughs> don't ever do this. <laughs> Never. Okay, so what did this cleanse? First, let's start off. The cleanse was you had to didn't do any caffeine, no alcohol, no gluten, no dairy, very little like meat, so like no red meat, no only like chicken, turkey, that kind of stuff. A lot of veggies, and we only got like one meal a day, and the other two were like these smoothies filled, packed to with vitamins and minerals. The only and drinks fiber. was like water and water with lemon. <laughs> and herbal tea. Chamomile tea. Yeah. So we did that for 21 days. We just felt like we needed a reset. We went between the pandemic last year and then of course the holidays. I just needed a reset. I was gonna do it and then Hunter. I was well, I was excited to do it to be honest with you. I was like, okay, I cleanse, let's just see. Plus I, I did want to because I always am like, oh I'm not addicted to coffee, yada yada. Like I can stop whenever I want. And so I just wanted to prove that to myself. So I did like the mental challenge. The first six days of no caffeine. I'm not sure if it was no caffeine or what, but the first six days and I was- And cutting out sugar, of course. I was like really in a bad state. I've had no energy at all, but the first six days I was like worthless. I just haven't felt good. But I did want to just do it for the accomplishment to follow through and to see, because I thought that it was like, oh, my aura was going to be shining. I was going to have this like great clean energy. You do. Look how nice your skin looks. Look how white your eyes my are. My skin feels horrible. I don't feel good. <laughs> I don't feel good. I don't know why. Maybe it's just not for me. But the good news is, is it's over. We did it. And now we get to go have some coffee. Yes. But so. I did not feel good at all. <laughs> <laughs> Every night he would ask me if he could have a glass of wine. <laughs> I was like, let's have a glass of wine. <laughs> Today, it makes me feel better. We get to have our first cup of coffee and enjoy real food again. Well, not real food, but like, because we're eating real food, but get to enjoy more than one meal a day. Yes. So I'm excited for that. And of course we're headed to coffee movement. I also told Hunter we went to get off the cleanse because I've done this cleanse before, but once you get off this cleanse, your taste buds and everything tastes differently, but in a really great way. So you taste things just like, it's like deeper, like more rich. So I will say this, the food thing was easy. Like that wasn't hard. It's just, I really miss my coffee and my wine. That's okay. It. Well, I just thought I'd take you guys along with me as Hunter embarks on his first my cup first of coffee. My first sip and your first sip. And my first sip. We're gonna share our first sip. Yeah. After the cleanse. I just keep going back and forth like, okay, I cut out dairy. Do I introduce it back into my diet now? Or do I just like I, 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 wanna, I wanna keep the dairy out. Like I wanna keep- But I love my ice And gluten. Days. Oh, well I don't do that stuff, so. <laughs> I like the no dairy, the no gluten. I actually like that. Paleo has been the best I've ever felt when I ate paleo. We eat paleo 80, 70 to 80% of the time. Well anyway, I'm just saying, that's what But I'm like an iced latte is an iced latte. I know you guys feel me on that. So I just like, it's a real inner debate. I don't know what to do. <laughs> get what you like, get what you love. We've done the cleanse, you've earned it. You've earned it! Okay, I'm gonna debate it on our walk there. I'm gonna take the fox, wherever she is. She's probably sunbathing somewhere over there. So yeah, all right, we'll see you guys at the movement. I think I'm gonna do a nice latte. As the day goes on, I'm just like... I'm wondering if I ordered my same order or if I need to get less. Well, why don't you start off with like one and see how it goes? Because your tolerance is probably really low for the caffeine now. What if it's not? I'll get one espresso. Just do it, see what happens. One espresso and one coffee. Maybe you'll fly to the moon. I'm down to the moon. <laughs> Where's the fuck? I've been, I've been dragged down to the lowest of the lows. <laughs> the lowest of the lows? It's been rough. It's been a rough three weeks. Come on. Fox, what do you think? Do you like this on caffeine or without it? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's go. Let's go. Freaking ready. Say goodbye to sleep. <laughs> sleep used to be really fun. Good. Look how good. Elevator etiquette. Good girl. This is riveting content, guys. Lexi. <laughs> Lexi. 
I know I'm gonna get a thousand questions about her backpack. Her backpack is to help her walk in the city because she still gets scared, so it just kind of helps her. Got her treat that's all wet in my hand. It's in your pocket. Oh, here, bags. put it in here. No, it's wet. I'm not throwing it away. You have poop bags? Yeah, I do. I always have poop bags. Foxy? <laughs> Two things I always have. Tampons, poop bags. Everyone needs to know that. <laughs> Two things I always, always have. Anyways. Sniffer. So she wears the backpack, it has like some weight in it, like small like sm small sandbags, like not a lot of weight. Just kind of keep her focus honed in so she doesn't get scared and pull on the leash. We're really trying to work on her leash etiquette. Yep. So yeah, that's why she has the backpack, guys. Oh yeah, her walking shaman here, pint size pack walks, sized it to her. Now we're just working on impulse control so she doesn't. We do this between every threshold or try to do it between like the important thresholds like the outside, our apartment, all that stuff. We're still working on that stuff, guys. Still working on it. All right, here we go. Ding dong, the place is there. The place is there. The place is there. Ding dong, the wicked place is there. So I take it 100 and like the cleanse. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's like this part of the road that was get under construction when we walk on coffee movement and it's like the side that we love and has good sun and a good view. They finished it so we could get to the side and that song just gave to me. So cool. I'll, every time we pass the cable cars they always ring the bell for Hunter. It's like the coolest thing. They're the homies. The homies. I think they're starting. The dog's been training you? Yes! Yes, I'm not winning. Y'all have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one day Hunter, we were walking Foxy and she didn't have her backpack on so she was acting a fool. Just pulling and trying to smell everything and Hunter was trying to do figure eights with her but it just like, she was not calming down and that guy saw him in the car. He was driving and saw Hunter doing that and he was like, oh, is your dog still training you? <laughs> Hunter was like, yep, and I'm not winning. Anyways, so what was I saying? Hunter hated the cleanse. The wicked cleanse is dead. I don't use the word hate. <laughs> I am just glad that it's over. The wicked cleanse is over. Hey there. But I always get asked, why do we go to specialty coffee shops? And why we're so specific about which coffee shops we go to? And I'm just gonna go into it a little bit because I think it just needs reminders, especially right now in the middle of a pandemic. And I wanna get it out before we come across the next group of people we're walking by. But it's important that we support a local coffee shop, a mom and pop. You know, your cup of coffee goes so, it goes a lot further. Specialty coffee shops support specialty coffee. Specialty coffee is really into the idea of the coffee that they get is ethically sourced. I know Pineapple Labs coffee is ethically sourced. We make sure that there's no child labor involved, they're good to the environment, that everyone is being treated equally, and you pay a little bit more, sorry, hold on. So you pay a little bit more for your coffee, but that like that money goes straight to like the barista, the coffee shop owner, them buying from the roaster, from the roaster to the roaster who buys from like the farms in these underdeveloped countries like Ethiopia, Guatemala, all these places. But like a lot of these roasters, these specialty roasters, make sure that like the families that they're supporting in these countries are doing it ethically right by our earth, by the people, for everything that like, it's just, it's just an all connection just from this one cup of coffee. So yes, you might pay a little bit more for the coffee, but you're getting so much more with that and you're contributing to something that's so much more than just us and your cup of coffee. Making sure the baristas are treated well. You know, that this family that owns the coffee shop is able to have the coffee shop and of course support the roasters which get the beans from farmers. Like it's all a connection, it's all community. And it's just so special that you can support in that way, especially right now. So it's important, it's important to do your research, it's important to know this is not just a cup of coffee, it means something. And it's a good, good cup of coffee. So it's better to have one smaller cup of coffee that's done so well in so many different ways than it is to have this giant coffee that's like, drinking sludge, you know, and supporting I don't know what. So 
Just something to think about. Okay, we just got to the movement. Hey friends, did y'all miss us? What's up, what's up? We're here at the coffee movement. So yeah, yeah, we we went on a three week cleanse. Yeah. Here we go, Hunter's first, what is it? Uh, this is an onyx, it's a natural. Ooh, onyx uh, coffee. I should have looked at which one that You don't is. even care? Yeah, I mean, I think this is raspberry. So good. It's pretty, pretty phenomenal. Yeah? It tastes kind of similar to the way it always tastes. No way. So it's a little bit better. You're lying. I love it every time. This is like this is what makes me happy. This is my happy place. Espresso is what I love it. Come this is on. What I love. Did you miss us? Of course. Every day. Promise? Of course. Okay, good. Guys, this is Reef. Do you have an Instagram you want people to follow you at? Refractometer. Refractometer. The coffee tool. Okay. On brand. All right, very on brand. This guys, he's one of the best baristas. Yeah. It's it's just a little bit sharper. Oh. It tastes just as good as I remember, but just a little bit sharper. It's very delicious. <laughs> I'm never not drinking coffee again. Remind myself to tell myself to drink coffee every day. From this point on. <laughs> All right, let me get my. I'm back to my old self. Yeah, let me get my uh, iced latte going. I went with the dairy, guys. I love it. You so earned much. it. You earned it. It's so good. Uh, it's so good. Uh, uh, who, who, who I have lit no the caffeine back? I just want to drink who, it. Who, who lit the caffeine back? There's a dub. I definitely like taste more of the coffee before I was just drinking like it just felt like I was drinking the milk, but now I definitely taste more of like the coffee notes, which makes it an even better latte. This is like that perfect combo of like the milk and the coffee espresso. There you have it. So delicious. So delicious. Do you want to wrap it? Yeah, we can wrap it. But this is our friend Linda, everyone. Oh, we're getting blasted by the sun looking at us. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. Yeah. So, she's a beautiful dog named Hodge, who she sometimes brings. And he also loves coffee. We, I actually saw him firsthand drink her cappuccino. She held it there, and he jumped up and just started drinking it. So he loves cappuccino. Fox is not allowed coffee. She's already high energy, so. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Our first coffee in the past three weeks, and it's just as delicious, if not more, than it was before, at least for me. What do you think? It was good. I so good. Of coffee. We're back to the movement, and excited to be here. So until next time, you guys, I'll see you in the chat. Bye!